before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to let you know about my website, jrtv.com, where we have hundreds of different templates available for DaVinci Resolve 17, 16, and 15. All of them are backwards compatible with the newest version of DaVinci Resolve. If you haven't taken a look, the selection of templates is pretty diverse with everything that you would typically think when you think templates, everything from titles, transitions, infographs, logo stings, slideshows, video displays, video effects, compositing elements, as well as a bunch of color preset tools specifically for DaVinci Resolve's color page. If you're interested in taking a look for yourself, there's a link in the description been working on a new project past couple of years people have asked me to make a course going over pretty much all the stuff I know and I did make a a little poll asking people what kind of stuff that they're more interested in learning and it looks like the majority of people want just fusion stuff so don't really know all the specifics yet I'm just currently in the process of making a whole bunch of different courses and with that I decided that I wanted to kind of work on some templates for the website maybe some people will find interest in this and you know it's not going to be a step by step how to follow along but I'm just working on a idea that I guess I should go over to the screen where you have the um, social media logo and then a little thing that comes out and I want to play around with the new uh, system for bundling because now we can in, we can add in different media in the bundle system as well so I was thinking of instead of just doing all the logos, uh, creating them via vectors, well, maybe I can just create a loader and then have the loader change. And this is something that I'll have to play with a little bit because I don't know if you can do this. I'm pretty sure you can though, but um, have the loader change its value on what is loaded in the loader from a, a, a simple expression. So that's something that I, I'm going to play with a little bit is using a loader. If you don't know what a loader is, there are a couple of different ways to bring in content into Fusion. One, you can use the DaVinci Resolve media system and that contains uh, everything that you would typically see in your media pool. So that's what you would, when you come into here and you would get the media in, that's what that is. This is going to need a media ID and media IDs are randomly generated once you bring a piece of media in. This particular node is gonna call for that media ID. The other way that you can do it is you can use what's referred to as a loader, and a loader is something that the standalone version of Fusion uses to bring media in. So if you're working on a video clip, you use a loader to load a piece of media in. If you, you know, picture, you know, video, whatever it is, you use a loader to do that and you're going to look with inside of that folder structure wherever the bundle is. So you can call for things inside the bundle, but not be so concerned where the bundle itself is located. There's just a bunch of different locations that you can have stuff stored. So it's easier when you don't have to have st static links linking to things. So we could pull in a loader, right? And this will come up, but we can close that. And then I don't know, I could go like that. I'm gonna take these two and I'm going to actually open up VS code and I'm gonna look and see how they are actually um, put together here. Okay, so what we have here is for this input, it's going to be expression, right? So what if we were to take this right here and then just take um, equals input let's just take all of this, what would happen here now, right? I'm curious, let's just see. So if I take these two out and I go like that, huh? And then if we take these and then we throw them in another one down here, does it still have that value? No, it wiped out that value. Or was it file, file name? So it wiped it out up here, huh? So it looks like we can't do anything. Paste the settings, what the heck does that do? Hmm. What we could do, the other way that we could do this, so I think that we would be able to make a Lua script to just launch a loader the other thing we could do is we could make a bunch of, um, we could have it load an image sequence, right? So let's say there's 20 different 
uh, social media logos. It would do the image sequence. And then what we could do is we could go loop. And for each of the different logos, we could have it hold frame on a specific one. So if we wanted it to be, you know, the Twitter logo, that would be frame two. So then they would just hold frame two as a loop for the entirety of it. I feel like that would probably be the slick way of doing that. So let me, um, how would we do this? All right, so first we need to get all of the social media logos. So, okay, so if I view this, one, two, three, boom. That's exactly how we want this to go. And now, if I was to, we'll remove the expression and we'll have it just based off of a slider here. So let's just create a new slider. Icons, sure. And I didn't even change any settings in there. So we'll come down, icons, and the range is gonna be one through three. And it's only allowed to go from one to three. Default one, and this is going to be a slider. Sure, we'll leave it like that. And this will be on the color page for now. Boom. So now we have an icon slider. So now here, ooh, wait. First frame. Wait, what is this supposed to be? Hold one. Hmm. Okay. That went into there. We got rid of this and then we came into here and instead of this we just went two one three zero It'll always be that okay I think I found I think I figured it out so one two and it'll always pull that one particular time. Okay. So that's what we will do then. This will be my picker. So then I can go um, social media icon, right? We add it onto the controls page and then we do a multi button. And we go Facebook. YouTube, um, IG, and I feel like this has to go up, or no, uh, YouTube has to go up, IG is third, and then we go add, and then we go, um, and here we go publish, and then here we go connect to stretch your social media, so YouTube, Facebook, IG. And we can play, boom, done. Got that, right? So now, depending on which one you want, you will always have that logo. And those logo sizes are perfect. Although the logo itself might not be a good logo to use for this because it has to, like I'd probably just have this instead of it saying YouTube. But then that goes on top of this here. So we take this and we paste this down and then we come into here. Or no, 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 we don't do that. We put this, um, we don't need that. We take these two and we put this on top of that to get that, perfect. And then we go like that. And then what we can say is here, uh, well, we don't really need to resize. We can do everything again. But for now, I'm just going to resize this to make this 200, 200. 
So then it sits on there perfect. Then we could actually do like 190, 190. There we are. Then we come in here and we have the Facebook logo, the Instagram logo. And now we are pretty much there. We have to figure out this whole thing with like the location and getting it to call inside because I don't really know how you how you're supposed to do that, but we'll um we'll we'll, we'll take a look at that then later. But uh, I just want to get the animations and everything. So now that that is all done, now we have to do these animations. But we need to make an animation timer, so I'm gonna come into here and call this my animation timer. So T and this is going to be so that's how that will work. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna get rid of all of that, and that's pretty much my whole thing. I just need to work on the location of where wherever this is going to go, as well as all the different uh, icons I want, and then in here that they're dropped down for the different ones like what do i want it to say i'm feeling pretty happy about this uh i don't know how many icons i can i can really get that all look relatively similar there's a couple of here there's a twitter one i guess I'll, or twitter that says twitch bro So I'm still doing the same thing that I've been doing. Now I'm actually, I have a pretty decent list of like all these different uh, logos. Uh, I'm just going through and getting the rest of the logos and making sure that they're all sized up correctly so that they look good. Um, but yeah, so that's currently what I'm on. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine more to do. actually pause this one of the things that I've been having an issue with which I have to make sure I go to the websites is all of these companies change their logos kind of often and when you look through here there's like different types of logos so is it like this one doesn't have the little ringy thing so what is that or you have the black one here you have it with the words here you have no words but the little like bubble thing and now if I go to their website it looks like they they have like none of that. So uh, one of the things that I've been looking at is if I go into their, if I find their Twitter, this is probably the most up-to-date logo that they're, you know, they're, they're branding themselves with. So that's what I'll end up using. All right, for this one, you guys gotta be a little cautious of the they have a drop shadow on there. I actually think I'm just going to go all the way in on this. Just because I, I don't want to accidentally cut portion of the drop shadow off because that'll be really noticeable. So I completely forgot to turn my mic back on uh, when I was getting towards the end of this, but pretty much I ended up getting 49 different icons. And now that the pack has been out for a couple of days, I actually am getting requests for a couple of extra icons. So I'll be adding those in for anyone that actually acquired this pack. I got the icons on there. I updated the list. I then turned everything into the new DaVinci Resolve bundle and then was able to get it all in one settings file. I also ended up making a thumbnail, which I didn't record for some reason, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the gist of this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and found it entertaining for the ones that actually watched through it. If this is something that you guys are interested in, let me know in the comments. And uh, while I'm making other packs or working on things, I can just record it and kind of talk to the camera and then, you know, put it into something like this and for the people that are interested in it. But let me know. Uh, like I said, I'm working on a course kind of explaining how I do all of these things and uh, a lot of the different nodes and, you know, I could just keep rambling on and on here. But uh, yeah, there'll be more information about that when when it uh, is completed. With that being said, uh, my name's JR. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments your thoughts.
and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.